Good evening. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Daddy, Samuel, Isai. How do you like to be called, uh, Isai? Samuel or, or, or Isai? Isai, it's okay. Okay, got it. I understand. Okay, so. Hello, Blanca. Hello, Johnny. Good evening. Nice to see you today. Okay, I want to introduce somebody to the class. Just give me one second. Okay, got it. Okay, okay. Let me introduce my daughter. Her name is Samantha, and she will be part of this class. So, yeah, can you say hello to her? Samantha, say hello. Welcome, Samantha. Hello. ¿Por qué? No, no tengo ningún problema. Gracias. Sí, está bien. Solo que solo el, el uno había. ¿Y eso para dónde va? Cámbialo, por favor. Sí, bien. Sí, bien. Sí, bien. Sí, sí, que lo vamos a mandar a reparar, porque yo creo que es el lente que no está. Sí, eso lo mencionábamos con esto. Eh, lo que es el lente y la ventiladora podrían estar sucios. Sí, lo vamos a mandar a reparar eso. Good afternoon, Johnny. Good afternoon, Marisol. Nice to see you today. Nice. Okay, guys. Uh, for today, we are going to be learning about two uh, preposition phrases. <clears throat> with and in. With and in. So I'd like Samuel to help me to read the first sentence. Who's the man with the beard? Yeah, who's the man with the beard? Yeah. And say it in Spanish. What does beard mean? I'm not sure. This. Ah, okay, got it. ¿Quién es el hombre con la barba? Yeah, Daddy, can you read the second sentence? Who's the girl in the skirt? Yeah, who's the girl in the skirt? Say it in Spanish, too. Eh, ¿Quién es la chica en el... I don't know what is skirt. Skirt means falda. ¿Quién es la niña en la... Yeah, ¿Quién es la chica de la falda? Okay. ¿Quién es la chica de la falda? Thank you. ¿Quién es la chica de la falda? Ok. Okay, Blanca, can you help me with the directions? In the next one. Uh, 
um, who is the man with a long face? That's my can, dad. Can you help me to read the directions? Can you repeat? Yeah. Can you help me to read the directions? In this lesson... In this lesson, you will learn to use proportional phrase to describe people. Yeah, very good. In this lesson, you will learn to use prepositional phrases to describe people. Okay. So, well. okay. Uh, so, can you help me to read the first sentence, uh, Marisol? Who's the woman with the, no, who's the man with the sunglasses? Yeah, who's the man with the long face? Who's the man with the sunglasses? Next sentence. Who's the woman in the cardigan? Yeah, who's the woman in the cardigan? Okay, can you ask me the question again, the first question? Excuse me. Can you read the first question again? Okay, who's the man with the long face? Who's the man with the sunglasses? Yeah, that's, the my, that's my dad. That's my dad. That's my dad. Okay, next question. Mm -hmm. Who's the woman in the cardigan? Oh, that's my mom. That's my mom. That's my mom. Do you understand what a cardigan is? Mm. It's like a... Um, it's like a type of sweater. Uh huh. Like a coat. Coat. Yeah. Yeah. Let me show you cardigans. It is also a rock band from the eighties. The cardigans. This is a type of sweater. I'm gonna show you. Here. Oh. Yeah. You see it? Yes. Okay, so this type of sweater is called cardigans. 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 Okay, do you like cardigans? There are also cardigans for men, not just for women, but also some cardigans for men. Okay. So in this lesson, you will learn to use preposition price to describe it. Who's the man with the long face? Who's the man with the sunglasses? Oh, that's my dad. That's my dad. That's my dad. Okay. Okay, Samantha, can you help me read that? Yeah, you can read the directions too. How can we describe someone? Get ready. Who's the boy? Huh? Get ready. We can see the presentation. We are in Google. Can you see it now? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Which boy? There are two boys. Are you talking about Brian or are you talking about Jack? Keep reading. Who's the boy in the yellow t shirt? That's Jack. Keep reading. Read the yellow boxes. Yeah. So when we are talking, When we want to describe a person that is wearing clothes, we use the preposition in. The lady in the red dress. Have you heard the song, Lady in Red? No? Lady in Red. I'm not a very good singer, but that's a very good song. 
Okay, you say also the man in the blue suit. The woman in the yellow skirt. The lady in the high heels. When we are talking about clothes and we want to describe a person by the clothes that she, that her or him is wearing, we are going to say him. In. Who's the boy in the yellow t-shirt? Who is the boy in the yellow t-shirt? Oh, that's Jack. Keep reading, Samantha. Thank you so much. Okay, tell me. Tell me to read. Um, who is the girl with the que es cartera? What? Regalo. Pink skirt? Skirt? What is skirt? Falda. <laughs> es que no miro bien que es. <laughs> okay, no problem. Can you read? Who's the girl in the pink skirt? Yeah, who's the girl in the pink skirt? That's yeah, that's Amy. Keep reading, dummy. Who's the boy in the blue shoes? Who's the boy in the blue shoes? That's Sam. Mm -hmm. Great. So we must use that with a singular noun. The pink skirt. The blue shoes. The nice jeans. The skirt. We can also use the with the plural nouns. The shoes. The glasses. The sunglasses. Okay, Kaylin, help me to read. Kaylin. Um, how, how is the hair in the pink shoes? Yeah, who's the girl? Who, who, who? Who's the girl in the pink shoes? Yes. Uh huh? Keep reading, Katie. Uh, <laughs> that's two. two sorry, sorry. Sorry, okay. Keep reading. Uh, can we tell about a uh, toys hearing? ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra? Close, her close. Instead, instead, instead. Instead, instead. instead. Listen, listen. Instead. 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 Of. Instead of. Her clothes. Her clothes. Oh, clothes. 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 So we can talk about Saul's hair instead of her clothes. Okay. So when we are talking about uh, somebody's body, we are going to use the preposition with. Okay, who's that girl with brown hair? Who's that girl with blue eyes? Who's that girl with white skin? Who's that girl with a long nose? Who's that boy with big ears? Okay, who's that girl with a big mouth? With a big mouth. So if we want to refer to Soy with the hair, what are we gonna say? What's the question is going to be? Can somebody help me with that? So let's check, this is Soy. Remember, we are going to ask about her hair.
Who's the girl with black hair? Very good, Elmi. Good job. Who's that girl with black hair? What other adjective could we use for a black hair? I mean, black is good, but also we could use long. Who is that girl with long black hair? Long black girl. Hair, sorry. Yeah, who's that girl with the black hair? Hey, who's that girl with the black hair? Her name's Soy. Her name's Soy. Soy, Soy. That's Soy. Okay, so for this, we don't use in the black hair, we say with, with, with. We use the preposition with to refer to a person's body part. Who's that man with big eyes? Who's that man with big eyes? Who's that man with a beautiful smile? Who's that man with a beautiful smile? Who's that man with white teeth? Who's that man with white teeth? I don't know. I don't know. Huh. What do we get here? We got a family. We got two daughters, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa. Look, look at this question. Can you help me to read that question? Angel Giovanni? Uh, who's the woman with the round face? Very good. Who's the woman with round face? Do you understand the word round, guys? Round? Redonda. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the woman with round face? Well, that's my grandma. That's my grandma. That's my grandmother. Okay, can you help me to ask the next question, Blanca? Who is the man with the beard? Yeah, who's the man with the beard? Beard sounds like cerveza, but it's not because you say T at the end. Beard. Who's the man with the beard? Well, that's my grandpa. That's from my grandfather. It's my grandpa. That's my grandfather. Okay. Okay, help me to read that. It's I. We can also use with to refer to accessories and things that the person is carrying or holding. Yeah, help me to translate that to Spanish, please. También podemos usar with para referirnos con o la preposición with para referirnos a accesorios o cosas que la persona está llevando o sosteniendo. Yes, good job. Buen trabajo. Good job. Okay. Okay. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Who's the girl with the sunglasses? Yeah, who's the girl with the sunglasses? Who is the girl with the sunglasses? No, oh, she's my daughter. Oh, she's my student. Okay, go with the next one, Marisol. Who's the girl with the ice cream? Yeah, she's holding the ice cream. She is holding the ice cream. Why we, that's why we say with. Hey, who's the girl with the ice cream? Okay, Blanca, show me your cell phone. Blanca, show me your cell phone. Your cell phone? Where's your cell phone? Can I see your cell phone? Uh, my number cell phone is three, two, uh, Six three uh no, seven no, no, three no, no, no. I don't want your number. I want I want to see your cell phone. See your cell phone. Let me see your cell phone. Thank you, Isai. I don't understand. 
Okay. Can you see Isai? I want you to see Isai. Isai, can I see your cell phone? Yes. In my cell phone, uh, lo tengo aquí. Es estoy usando. You're right. You're right. You're right. No worries. Okay. Isai, show me your cell phone. Isai, show me your cell phone. Okay. Who's that man with the cell phone? Who is that man with the cell phone? Uh, his name is Isai. Thank you, Isai. Thank you so much. Okay. So the sunglasses. Sunglasses. Uh, sunglasses is an accessory. Sunglasses, an accessory. And the ice cream is a thing she's holding. Okay, tell me, can you tell me the meaning of the word in Spanish holding again? Holding? Eh, algo que está cargando? Yeah, what is holding? Sosteniendo? Yeah, and carrying? Cargando? Yes. Carrying and holding. Thank you so much. Okay, help me to read the yellow box, tell me. Do we use in or with to refer to the hat she is wearing? Yeah, do we use in or with to refer to the hat she's wearing? What do we use, Emily? In or with? Hmm, interesting question. Is it in or with? With, right? I use it with. With? Um, in. Well, you can't be wrong with this answer because you can use both. You can use both. Okay, can you help me to read what is in the yellow box, please? We can use both in and with to talk about the hat because his hat can be both a clothing item and an accessory. Yeah. So a hat can be a clothing item, but also can be an accessory. Okay. okay. Not just a hat. Also, you can use a tie, a bow tie, a cap, gloves, mittens. Do you know what a cap is? Cap? Gorra. Yeah. What, what about bow tie? What's that bow tie? Aquí se usa, eh? Bow tie. Corbata. Corbatín. Tie es corbata. En tie es una corbata. Gloves for your hands. En mittens. Guantes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gloves and mittens. Okay. Josué. Who's the boy with the short black hair? So we can use with for for what? For body parts, we use with for body parts. Can you help me read the question again? Who's the boy with the glasses? Who's the boy with the glasses? So glasses is an accessory, right? And we use in for who's the boy in the red vest? Clothing items, clothing items, clothing items. Prendas de vestir, artículos de vestir, clothing items. Okay. Okay, help me to complete the sentence, Samantha. Yeah, you can say with and you can say in. You can use both. 
because tie is a clothing item, but it's also an accessory. You can use both, okay? Oh, that's Jeremy. Okay, Kevin Rios. Uh, Iria in or? Oh. Yeah, in. Can you read the sentence? Okay, how's the man in the suit? Yeah, who's uh, the man in the suit? Who's the man in the suit? Repeat after me, suit. Suit. Mm -hmm. Kaylin, who's uh, the man in the suit? That's my dad. Ah, nice. Very fancy, man. Fancy, fancy. Okay, Marisol, help me to put that sentence together. We are talking about the girl with the long blonde hair. Okay. Um, who is the girl with the hair long blonde? Mm, no. Hair goes who? at the end. Hair goes at the end of the sentence. Okay. Adjectives, adjectives first, nouns who, last. Who is the who is the girl mm -hmm. with the with the long uh -huh. blonde uh -huh. hair? Beautiful. Good job. Say it one more time. Who is the girl with the long blonde hair? Right. That's Ruby. That's Ruby. That's Ruby. Good job. Good job, Marisol. Good job. Oh, Samantha. Okay. Uh, Blanca, how am I read that one? Who is the girl with glasses? Yeah, who's the girl with glasses? That's Samantha. That's Samantha. Okay, that's Samantha. Okay, uh, Delmi. I'm sorry, Delmi. We're finished. <laughs> okay, well done. Okay, give me a review, Isai. Give me a review of in and with. Okay, we use the preposition with when we are talking about accessories or things that people are carrying or holding. Uh -huh. And we use in when we refer to clothes. Like clothing items, right? Yeah. And can you tell me with what accessories or items we can use both? Uh, for example, a hat. A hat. Um, I don't know, glasses. Glasses? Um, a clock. Yeah, you mean a watch? Uh, yeah, the, the watch. Um, what about a cap? Mm hmm Also a cap. A bow tie. Um, a tie, yeah. a bow tie, gloves, mittens. A necklace, maybe? A necklace, yeah. mm, A necklace is with. With. Necklace oh. is with. Necklace is with. Okay. Okay, good job. Good job, guys. With. <laughs>
Just one second, guys. Just one second. Okay, so Delmi is going to be M, Marisol is going to be S. Go ahead, Delmi. What do you think of this sweater? sweater? What, yeah, what do you think of this sweater, Marisol? I think it's nice. What about you? Well, it is nice, but it is a little loose. Let's keep looking. Okay. Do you understand this sentence? What do you think of this sweater? Yeah. I think it's nice. What about you? Do you understand this? Pienso que está bonito. ¿Qué piensas tú? ¿Qué crees tú? Well, it's nice but it's a little loose. Do you have questions here? Loose is como... Flojo. Like flojo. Flojo. Loose means flojo and tight means socado. T, I, G, H, T, tight, so call T, I, G, H, T. Do you understand the sentence, guys? Well, it's nice, but it's a little loose. Yes, I understand. Great. Does everybody understand? Yes. Okay, yes. let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. Vamos a seguir buscando. Yeah, let's Tenemos keep buscando. Uh -huh. Okay, this is homework for tomorrow. Homework. What do I have to do, Johnny? Well, you need to memorize this conversation. You need to memorize this conversation. What? Memorize. What is the meaning of word memorize in Spanish? Yes. Mister, pero memorizes para garrotes. No. Memorize is for people who wants to learn, who wants to create complete sentences, complete structures. So you need to memorize this. Okay. Mañana, tomorrow, I'm going to pick two people. How many people am I, am I going to pick? Just two people. Might be you. Maybe you won't. Maybe you will. We don't know. This is going to be one point. Solo un puntito, vale. Si lo quiere perder, no se lo aprende. Everybody has to learn it. You understand? Yes. Okay.
Hello. Today's lesson is on the simple present tense in affirmative statements with like, want, need, and have. I have a red sweater. I like this sweater, but it's old. I need a new red sweater. Hmm. I like these sweaters. I think this sweater is pretty. I want this sweater. Let's look at these statements with the subjects I, you, we, and they. Notice, we use the base form of like, want, need, and have. For example, we can say, I like red sweaters. You want red sweaters. We need red sweaters. Or, they have red sweaters. With the subjects he, she, and it, add s to the base form of the verb. Like becomes likes. Want becomes wants. And need becomes needs. But be careful. Have is irregular. Have becomes has. For example, we can say, he likes these sweaters. She wants these sweaters. He needs these sweaters. Or, she has these sweaters. Okay. Okay, Saeed, give me the right answer, please. Saeed, did you hear me? I'm sorry. Every day I eat Italian. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. All right. It, it's food. Every day I eat Italian food. You got it right. Okay, Samantha, number two. Yeah, like that? I drive a bus. Yeah, I drive a, I drive a bus. Very good. Kelly? Sorry. Okay. Number four. I wish I leave. Um, Puerto Rico? No. Berlin? Yes. Puerto Rican is a, is a nationality. No, no, no. Tell me. Sorry, we speak Spanish. Very good, tell me. Okay, and Josue. He reads a Chinese newspaper every day. Daddy? Tom and his brother paint houses. Yeah. That's great, Marisol. My name is Marco. I, um, 
I shop. No. My name is Marco. <laughs> um, I don't know. I ask play me. If you don't understand something, ask me. Ask me. Ask me questions. Okay. My name is Marco. I play cards. No, 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 no. I sell cards. What is sell in Spanish? Vende. Yes. That's my profession. I'm a salesman. I sell I cards. I think Marco is a is a little little boy like my son Marco. <laughs> nice. Yeah, your your son is called Marco, right? His name is Marco, right? <laughs> okay. Um, Samantha. Mm -hmm. And Delmi. I call my grandparents on the telephone every weekend. Good job, Delmi. You're good, Delmi. You're good. Good student. Do you see the video? Antonio is from Rome. Boris and Natasha are from Moscow. And Anna is from Athens. Who are these people? Where do they live? What languages do they speak? And what do they do every day? I'm Robert Lynch. Join me now as we meet people around the world. What's your name? My name is Antonio. Where do you live? I live in Rome. What language do you speak? I speak Italian. Tell me, what do you do every day? I eat Italian food, I drink Italian wine, and I sing Italian songs. Volare! What are your names? My name is Boris. And my name is Natasha. Where do you live? We live in Moscow. What language do you speak? We speak Russian. Boris and Natasha, tell our audience, what do you do every day? We eat Russian food. We drink Russian vodka. You drink Russian vodka. I drink Russian tea. And we sing Russian songs. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, their names are Boris and Natasha. They live in Moscow. They speak Russian. They eat Russian food. They drink Russian vodka. Don't forget the Russian tea. They drink Russian tea. And they sing Russian songs. And what about you? What's your name? Where do you live? What language do you speak? And what do you do every day? We'll be right back with more people around the world. Okay, Saeed. Yes, Number one is I. Match. You have to match. I live. I live in Rome. Rome. Josue. I live in Italy. Italy. Italian food. Tell me. 
Uh, we drink Russian tea. Blanca. We sing Russian song. Yes, good job. Good job. Good job, my friend. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Okay, help me to read Blanca, part one. I can see, I can say your presentation. Okay, simple present tense. Do you help at home? Mm -hmm. uh, he does. Well, you say, does he help at home or does, does she, she help? Does he help at home or does she help at home? Yeah. Do you understand that? Do you understand in Spanish? Yes. Yes. Great. Okay. Part two. Daddy. I made the bed and she folds the clothes. Yeah, do you understand that? Yes. Okay, what is false in Spanish? Mm, I don't, I think it's doblar. Yes. Okay, how many read Samantha, the directions? Okay, Jose, number one. That's great. And Marisol, next one. Does he help at home? Does she help at home? Uh -huh. Yes, he does. Yes, she does. No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. Very good. Okay, help me to read the directions, Isai. Ben is talking to his friends about doing housework. What question is he asking? Is there any question there? Uh -uh. No? You understand everything? Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, ben, ben is talking about his friends. What question is he asking? Mm -hmm. uh, this is the answer, right? I have a plan. Yeah. The question is, do you help? Uh, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep reading, Isai. We can use do to ask questions. Keep reading. I help at home. Do you help at home? Do not change the verb action word after do. Do you help him? Yes, I do. Yes, I have Tom. No, I don't. Don't it's the same that do not. Mm -hmm. No, I do not have a Tom. Mm -hmm. Do I continue? Yeah. Can you remember who helped a Tom? Does, does he help, help at home? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Ha! Sure. I'm not really sure. <laughs> yes, he does. Say, were you paying attention? Ha! Okay, everybody. I'm focus on reading. <laughs> yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Everybody. Did you ask me something? Yeah, I ask everybody. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. 
Okay. Okay. Keep reading, say. We is those with he and she. Mm -hmm. Do help. Do he help? It's incorrect. Don't change the bear after does. Does he help? Helps. Sorry. Samantha, does she help at home? Mm. Yes, you're right. Okay, what is the meaning of just she does, Samantha? Okay, tell me, does she help at home? Yes, she does. Mm. No. <laughs> no, she doesn't. <laughs> She's a lady. Yes, <laughs> lady. And what is the meaning? No, she doesn't. Tell me. No, ella no lo, no lo hace. No, no. English. No, she doesn't. Does... What is the meaning? No, she doesn't. No, ella no lo hace. Yeah, but you gotta read what is in the yellow box. Oh, no, she does not help at home. Yeah, that's the meaning of no, she doesn't. Okay, review. What is all? Review. Do you help at home? Yes, I do. Do you help at home? No, I don't. Does he help at home? Yes, he does. Does she help at home? No, she doesn't. Okay, what is the right answer, Blanca? Do or does? Do you help at home? Uh huh. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Okay, fill in the blanks. Kelly. Ha, Kaylee. So, nos, do you help at home? Help? Yes. yes. Okay. Keep no, I, no, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, Daddy. Um, does he help? Does he helps at home. No, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. No, he doesn't. Okay, Jose? Yes, she's helping at home. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to read the directions to say. In this part, you will learn to use the simple present tense to describe habits or habits. Mm -hmm. I make the bed, he or she folds the clothes. Mm -hmm. Get ready. The, the children are asking each other if they have home. Let's read what they say. Is there any question there? Um, no yet. Okay, everybody else? Anyone? Anybody? No questions? Help at home? Help at home? Mm -hmm. Okay, Samantha. Samantha, go ahead. Yeah, read the question. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Uh huh. I sweep the floor. Okay, help me to read, Marisol. Simple present tense. We can use the simple present tense to talk about uh, habits or things we often do. Keep reading, Marisol. I, I water the plants. Mm -hmm. 
I feed the dog. Uh -huh. Okay, tell me. We can, that, can we say if we want to talk about something that another person often does? Uh -huh. She walks the dog. Uh -huh. He sets the table. Uh -huh. We add S to verb action word after he or she. Uh -huh. Thank you. Blanca. Here are more examples. Does your brother help at home? Uh -huh. Yes, he does. He folds the clothes. Uh -huh. Does your sister help at home? Uh -huh. Yes, he does. She clears the tape. Okay, help me to read the review, Jose. I feed the dog. Uh -huh. He sweeps the floor. Uh -huh. She hands. Is there any question there? Uh, uh, what mean hands? Hands up means colga. Colga, hands up. Olga. Okay, what is the right answer, Daddy? Uh, do you help help at home? Yes, I do. I make the. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, Marisol. Does your brother help at home? Yes, he does. He waters the plants. Katie. My sister sets the table. She also um, sweep. Sweeps. Sweep the floor. Sweeps. Sweeps the floor. Yeah. Sweeps. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I can see in the picture. Is she setting the table or cleaning the table? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, sets the table. That's fine. Okay, Blanca. Uh, my brother and I help at home. Mm -hmm. I feel the dog and... He folds the clothes. Yes, very good. Okay, good job, guys. So thank you so much for joining the class. Don't forget the homework. Don't forget the homework. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye, see you tomorrow. Great to see you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Take care, guys. Have a good night.